Here's this one. Okay, now be careful. Watch out for the car. Have a good day. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Serge again, and here we are. It's the beginning of December, nearing the end of the year. And today I'm driving roughly southwest away from Austin. I just kind of pointed Google Maps in that direction. So I'm taking a bit of a random drive. I have really no idea where I'm going. And hopefully we can find something interesting. So let's go. Well guys, I'm driving around. Look what I found. Somebody's got an E30 BMW wagon. I mean, this thing's legit. And it's right-hand drive. And not only that, but we got an Alfa Romeo Giulia over there. Just total random driving around. Is that a 2600? Yes, Beautiful. So we got an Alfa Romeo 2600. It's not a Giulia, like I said. But this thing's absolutely gorgeous. So they're doing a time distance rally today. Very cool. Well, check this out. I have stumbled across another one of these low water bridges. These things are bizarre. I can't believe this is a bridge. Look at this thing. It's like a dam. Pretty sketchy, to be honest with you. Like super sketchy. Guys, check this out. These dudes just randomly walked up to my truck as I'm driving by. I had to stop. I heard them in the distance. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Well, all screwed up. Uh, apparently these are Everybody Wimberly goats. Everybody knows them. You come and feed these Here's guys. This one. Here's this one. Okay, now be careful. Watch out for the car. Have a good day. <laughs> Okay, that was crazy. I was just literally driving through here, and I guess these goats in this town of Wimberley, it's totally normal for them to just wander around. That's so bizarre. Yeah, I think that sign pretty much tells me what we're going for here. Another water bridge. You have got to be kidding me. Look at this. It is level with the water. This is crazy. I don't know any of you guys that are used to these kind of bridges, but having moved to Texas from California, I have never seen anything like this. Well, this is a crazy bridge. I don't even know how this qualifies as a bridge. It's more like a mini dam, but uh, I'm loving this outing today. I'm finding some really crazy stuff. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm just driving around today, and I'm finding the craziest stuff. Look what I found. I saw these two bugs I was driving by, and I saw this guy over here, and I noticed it was sitting a little too high. Let's take a look at this thing. Well, this is a, uh, it was a 73, I'm sorry, 71. That's a 73 over there. 71 uh, Super Beetle, and uh, I uh, like, the only reason I bought it was because of the patina, and then I've always wanted a 4x4 four four bug, so I figured out which vehicle had close to the same chassis um, that was four-wheel drive, and it was a Bronco 2. So I found a Bronco 2, chopped it up, and uh, put the two together. How long have you been working on it? Uh, less than a month. Well, December's almost over. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and whatever you have planned for the holidays, that you enjoy it with everyone as well. I think we need to enjoy what we can right now because as winter hits, I think we're going to have more issues with the uh, pandemic. So enjoy what you can while the weather's nice. We can still get out and everything's still pretty much open. Depends upon where you live. But uh, go out. Enjoy the nature. Go look at some cows. I don't know. I always stop and look at cows. I don't know why. But I find that getting outside, getting away from the city, and just going into nature, it really soothes you. It calms you. It's very meditative because it just allows you to relax and get some clean, fresh air. And it helps you clear your mind, especially if you find a quiet place where you can sit down and think about things. Super important. We're all busy day to day doing stuff and just taking that little break helps us so much with our mental health and also with our physical well-being. It's all centered around the same thing, just about being calm and serenity. 
no, I'm not turning into a hippie. I'm just saying that it's important to get away and to focus on yourselves once in a while. So do that. Get outside, go enjoy some fresh air, go for a walk, do whatever it is that you enjoy and just live your life, enjoy things. Well guys, this has been a totally fun random day so far. I found so many cool things. And if I could ask you for a moment to hit the thumbs up and check the bell, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and share it with your friends. All of those things really help the YouTube algorithm share my videos with more people, which helps me grow my channel and in turn allows me to bring you better content. I also have an Instagram account where I post to my stories almost every single day. I'll put the link to that account down below. Well, I'm gonna break my 24 hour fast that I started yesterday a little early by three hours because I want some barbecue. Hey guys. Good, how are you? Just hungry. What are you in the mood for? I'm not sure, I was just driving by. Well, look at this. So let me tell you what we got here. We got Wagyu beef here. We got a quarter chicken, although I said it was kind of small, so they doubled up. And we got a chef's Italian sausage and coleslaw. God, this is a lot of food. All right, guys, look at all this food. I am super excited to try this. We got some barbecue sauce, some iced tea. All right, let's dig in. First thing I want to do is I want to try this Wagyu. This looks crazy good. Just look at that. Mmm. Looks delicious. I gotta try this without uh, without the sauce first. It's a big piece, but I'm hungry. Mmm. Wow. It's got a great taste to it. It's very smoky. It's not overly rich, so it's a little bit on the lean side, and I believe the Wagyu beef tends to be a little bit on the lean side. It's simply delicious. All right, let's give a sausage a try here. This is a lot of food. I definitely got too much, but they only sold everything by the half pound, except for the sausage, which was by the quarter. So I only got a quarter of that. But there's the sausage. It's an Italian sausage. It's really good. The casing is just the right thickness and it doesn't have a really hard bite to it. It's like a lot of Italian sausages will have a very strong flavor of sauce and this one does not. It just tastes perfect. Very happy. Now we've got two different barbecue sauces here. So let's find out what this other guy is. I'm guessing uh, this guy here might be El Diablo. No, that's quite delicious. And now for the coleslaw. Mmm. Definitely a bit of a citrus flavor to it. They have it advertised as an Asian slaw and it's extremely light and it's very delicious. There's a lot of very light seasoning in it and it doesn't have that overly mayonnaise flavor that you usually get in coleslaws. This thing is very light. Mm. All right, let's give this uh, chicken a try. I'm just gonna go Viking on this thing and just rip it apart. There's the chicken. Just gonna take a bite. Wow, super juicy. That is the way chicken needs to be done. I mean, it is just extremely juicy. I think the chicken is my favorite out of all three of them. And of course we got pickles and onions and some jalapenos here. Mm. Ooh. Oh man, the jalapeno's got some kick. This Wagyu is really delicious. Just crazy good. I've never had barbecued Wagyu, so I don't really have much to compare it to, but 
this is good. Well, I'm gonna finish this meal and then we'll get back on the road. Well, this is pretty much what's left. I ended up eating a quarter of the chicken. I was only supposed to get a quarter chicken, but they said it was small, so they gave me two quarters. I ate the whole sausage. I ate about half the Wagyu. So guys, overall, the food here at Blackbird Barbecue was great. They were nice enough to get me some fresh brisket. So this is really juicy. I already tried a little bit and had them rewrap it. It's absolutely amazing. Great food, highly recommended if you're ever out here. Again, I think somewhere in Sisterdale, I'm not really sure. But Blackboard Barbecue, I'll put the links down below in the description. So if you're ever in this area of Texas, check them out. So I'm just on my way home now, and I don't know what it is about old buildings like this, but I just have this affliction for them, and I'm finding tons of them in Texas. They're usually either courthouses or civil buildings. It's just, to me, the architecture is just always amazing, and I have to stop and take a look at them. Guys, I wanted to clear something up that I said earlier in case anybody's wondering. I mentioned that I was breaking my 24-hour fast. So what I've started to do is to incorporate 24, 30, or 36 hour fasts into my routine once or twice a week. I'm doing this just for health reasons. It's something I've done research on and I believe it'll help me with some of my health issues that I've got going on. So that is the reason why I've been fasting. Well guys, I almost forgot one very important thing. I have a toy drive tomorrow at a car show that I'm going to. So guess where I'm going to go do a little shopping for some toys? Target. I loathe this store, but they have the best prices on toys. So let's go and get some toys for the toy drive. We are definitely gonna need a shopping cart. Okay, let's grab some of these for the little kids. How about one of these birds? Take a squeaky mini. Oh, these are only 10 bucks. Oh, let's grab two of these. Let's grab a fire truck. Let's grab one of these Thomases. Okay, we can't forget all the girls, so let's grab some Barbies. If I can get it off. Let's grab one of these. One of those. I think some toys for some real little kids like this would be great. Let's grab one. Let's grab two of them. Okay, this is way too cool. I gotta get this. This is a busy boom box. I'm gonna get some kid a boom box for Christmas. Perfect. Well, this is exciting for me because I'm actually getting to buy toys and give them to somebody. So feeling a little bit like Santa. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? Let's take a couple of those. Ooh, that one's cool. Superheroes. Well, we're starting to fill up over here. Okay, the slinkies, these are great. I'm gonna grab like, I don't know, 10 of them. Let's grab a whole bunch. Two. Let's just, let's just throw a whole bunch in here. How about some Matchbox cars? Let's grab a whole bunch of these. Okay, I think I might be going over my budget, which was uh, $200. Oh well, it's okay. Let's see what else we can find. Some of these action figures would be good. Batman, The Flash, another Batman. Gotta grab a Woody. That didn't sound right. <laughs> now I think I'm going to stop here. The shopping cart is full of stuff. Let's go check out. Now we gotta unload everything. All right, now let's see what the total is gonna be. I'm guessing it's gonna be double my original budget, but you know what, this is for kids, so who cares? I ended up spending almost double what I originally intended, but again, this is for kids, this is for charity, and I'd rather spend extra money on them than something stupid that I don't need. All right, that's it. Now I gotta get all this stuff home. Well guys, that's gonna be the end of another fun day and another video. Hope you enjoyed all the fun stuff we got to see today, the great barbecue we tried, and going shopping with me for some toys that we're gonna to donate tomorrow to the toy drive. That will be in the next video coming out in the next couple of days. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and click the bell so you get notified when I have new content up. And until next time, guys, as always, don't forget to take care of yourselves.